deep and I'm ice fishing for chain pickerel for the first time in my life with a couple uh, experts here. So uh, we've already had a little bit of luck and uh, hopefully we'll have a great day fishing. Let me show you what we got going on here. So we're about, it's a really windy day and we're about 30 feet from shore in the lee of the wind. Otherwise we'd be dead. Uh, we got, uh, here's this chain pickerel I just caught. And here's a much bigger one that uh, one of the other fellas here, Colton, just caught. We've got about, what do you say, five inches of ice? Yeah. Five inches of ice going here. He's got a fish finder, he's got all the fancy gear, and apparently, I don't know how to read that, but there's one down there somewhere. <laughs> so that's the fish underneath my lure there, and that moving up and down is the lure. And he's just sort of sitting down there. How do you know that's a fish? So the yellow mark shows that it's like a solid coming in, so it would just be clear right down to the bottom. So you know he's just up off the bottom of the oh, foot see. there. Well, he's take some intelligence to read. <laughs> so he's just checking you out. Yeah. yeah. And we got Gary over here. Gary actually has a YouTube channel. I've, to I've said before I don't shoot videos when I'm fishing with my friends. Well, he's a YouTuber, so this is a different situation. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's also a competitive angler here in Nova Scotia. Gary Lynch, his YouTube channel is called uh, NS Yak Fisher. Yeah, NS Yak Fisher Outdoors. NS Yak Fisher Outdoors. I'll not put a that, link to it. Not that active, but. <laughs> but he's got some good videos, so I'll put a link to it up. And you've got a. So uh, Gary was fishing here before, and the chain pickerel he caught had some very tiny, like minnow like perch in their belly. So he's using a lure. That looks like a perch. Yeah, just let a little lipless crank tip yeah. with shrimp. Hoping that that, because it looks like the thing they're eating, which stands the reason should work. Hasn't yet. Hasn't yet. Uh, Colton using a, a kind of, uh, we're all using spoons tipped with a bit of shrimp. And uh, all I'm using is this unbelievably basic, uh, shiny, it's just shiny. I mean, there's no light there. Shiny lure, nothing fancy, just just literally, no color, no nothing. And I, I caught this. This one's not a monster, but I caught it the first, first uh, couple minutes of fishing. So we're off to a roaring start here. Look at the scars on them. Yeah, yeah. So I just lost my entire lure. I can't be him because the lure would be in him. I just lost my Unless lure. Unless he spit it. And Gary caught this nice one. What did you say? Almost. 17 inches? 17 or 18. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was on this um, perch imitation. Now I hooked him in the mouth, but he's bleeding. I'd say he had your lure. Yeah. Uh, Where'd it go? <laughs> he spit it. You might find it in him. What's your secret for uh, playing the lure, Gary? I, uh, Short jerks, long jerks. I do snaps to attract, right, and then try to stay back and forth or slowly up and down. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and you keep it about how far off of the bottom? Depends. I'm just uh, a foot or two off the. I usually just reel once or twice and get it off the bottom. Right. Fish will are more likely to come up for a lower than they will come down. Right. There's one there and it just... Oh, you can see it on the, the yeah. garment there? Yeah, it's, it's staying directly below me pretty well. That's what, I'm pretty sure that's the one I just stung, so uh, it's just playing with me. So I had one on in this hole and so did Gary. Well, not, I mean, we had a bite basically, a little temporary hookup, but uh, couldn't close the deal. I think he's smartened up. Yeah. <laughs> He's had enough of spoons. <laughs> <laughs> and just for gear, Gary, you got you got braid on that? Braid to copolymer, which is a fluoro mono combination. Mono with a fluorocarbon uh, cover. Okay, so your terminal taco is a kind of fluoro mono combo. And what pound test is the terminal taco? On uh, this one, six. Six pound. The very end? Yeah. Really? I lost a lure already. I had six pound test. <laughs> so oh, the other rod has 16. <laughs> 16. 16 pound floor on the other rod. Yeah. He's done with us. Well, he won't. He's camera shy, clearly. <laughs> Dropped in one of these holes over here so if you can't wrap them. 
So we're fishing multiple holes. We've got another one every, I don't know, 30 feet or so. We're making a hole and just trying different spots. And we're not all standing around the, <laughs> the fish finder hole. <laughs> That's just because I'm trying to film here. <laughs> hey, we got something happening here. There's definitely one around. Oh, Jesus. It's almost made to order. The drag going and everything. Size, not bad. Yeah. And if you're people in Ontario watching, this is it's not huge, but yeah. <laughs> in Nova Scotia, this is a good chain pickerel. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's nice. Not a bad one, eh? Yeah. And let's see what you got that on. Yep, so that's a Northland coffin spoon. Northland coffin spoon. Shaped like a coffin. Yes. Just tipped up a little bit of shrimp. A little bit of shrimp on there, yeah. Great. Very good. Absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be taking it. I don't know. It's better knowing or not knowing. <laughs> well, at least there's the interest. Like, <laughs> you know. I wouldn't have known that was a fish. My line just, I put it on bottom. Yeah. And all of a sudden, my line went slack. Oh, he picked it right yeah, off the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's, uh, at the same time, he said he, he he's seen something. So. It's these garments, you know, like when you tell your wife, like, I'll be home at five o'clock. And then you, <laughs> you're never home at five o'clock. You know, there's a fish there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, <laughs> he's like slowly coming up and checking it out. I wonder if it was a perch because it took it off the bottom. That doesn't sound like a very pickerel thing to do. I'm going to show this guy's ice scoop. One of the guys with us here, Colton, this me bleeding all over it. I got, uh, that's another thing I should show, <laughs> got cut. But um, he put this little measuring tape like he'd use for a seamstress or something. Just taped it on and that way you can measure how thick the ice is. As opposed to what I do is just sticking my hand in and measuring it and getting a freezing cold hand. So he just fetches that up under the ledge of the ice and you can measure the ice depth. Great little idea. Costs nothing. Well, almost nothing. You can just use a magic marker as well and just mark it off. All right, so we just got another one. Oh, it's gone. But anyway, I, I just cut it on this plain lure. We were using lots of different lures today. I had this tipped with a fin from one of these chain pickerel, one of the smaller ones. This little fin down here. That, that's gone, I think. I had a bite. I had a bite and I lost it. He must have stripped the fin then. Now I got this guy on. You know, it's not, not a bad one. You know, I'd say, oh, 18 inches. It seems like all our bigger ones are about this size. That's my hand span. I have a nine inch hand span. So uh, that's 18 inches, yeah. Just in case you're wondering about messing around with the mouths of pickerel, they got sharp teeth. I got a slash in the end of my thumb about uh, a quarter inch long. I don't know how deep it is because my thumb's numb. But it's been bleeding for about three hours. And there's blood all over my pants, all over my mittens, all over my jacket. <laughs> I look like I slaughtered a pig today. It's just for my thumb. Uh, it might be helping me catch fish, I don't know. You can see the drops of blood all over the ice too, eh? <laughs> That's all for me. Here we got one on here. I'm just sitting down having some coffee here. Oh, chocolate. There we go. We we're just about to give up. Right on, man. Standard operating procedure. Very good. I caught that. I got it out in time. 16 inches? 16, maybe? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo. All right, so that's a few hours fishing for three guys. We're not you know, going hard as we can. We're chit-chatting and just having a great day out in the ice, but we got about, what's that, 10? Is it 10, isn't it? What is there? Yeah, 10. Yep. Um, different sizes. That's the my, my first one through the ice, the smallest. <laughs> But uh, yeah, can't complain. Great day on the ice. <laughs> I'm suffering for my art. Uh, oh, so that's about the end of it today. We're just a great day out fishing. We got about 10 fish. Uh, lots of work to do to clean them up now, but you know, uh, pickerel fishing, Nova Scotia, and a lake in the middle of nowhere, undisclosed location. Totally legal though. <laughs> Different kinds of lures, but basically shiny lures with a little bit of bait. Some of us using uh, a little bit of shrimp on the end, 
I've been using one of the pickerel fins, just try, trying that out, and it's worked. I've got a number of fish just with a shiny spoon and a pickerel fin. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, enjoy the outdoors on the cheap. Thanks for watching.